everybody, this is Silly Willy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw James, yes, THE James. Now, like all my drawings, I'm going to be getting started on the hair first. It's always either the hair or the head, you know. And James, he is quite a character. He is an, not only is he an intellectual, he's very interesting, he's very, uh, he's very cool, uh, and I don't know how he does it. He's a girl magnet, he just, he's the full package and more, you know, he's all that in a side of fries, as they say. Now, I'm gonna just try and get this hair as carefully as I can, you know, to draw the perfect hair for a perfect human being. As you may know, he is a perfect human being. If you do not uh, know James, 10 out of 10 recommend to meet James. And I'm trying to get a good jaw here now. Uh, his jawline it's not the best, but it's still pretty good. It's no, it's no Palo jawline, but you know. Um, and now I'm gonna do these eyebrows. As you can see, his eyebrows are, he's kind of like in a quizzical look like, hmm? It's kind of the intellectual eyebrow raise, just raising one eyebrow independently. He's like, hmm? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now the eyes. He's not, um, one of the eyes, the eyes on the, his, his right are, is squinted, because, you know, that helps him keep his right eyebrow lowered as he raises the other one. So I guess that could be considered cheating, but you know what, James is allowed to break the rules, okay? That's just how it is, and that's how it always will be. I'm gonna fix this here. There we go, now his other eye. Those aren't the right size, whatever. Anyway, that looks pretty good. Get these eye features, I mean the wrinkles, or the outline of his eyeball. And you know, he's stressed out. He's always sleeping in class, you know. But being an intellectual is hard work, I can't blame him. He's very smart and tired. Usually those two go together. And I'm gonna draw his nose here. He's got a very nice nose. It's like Polish or something, I don't know. Uh, no, it's not Polish. I'm just, it might be. I don't know. Anyway, just get it night, looking nice here. He said it was like German or something. Now, now I can't stop thinking about that. I forgot his nationality. It's like I want to say Sweden, but that's not right. Anyway, now I'm trying to get his smirk here. He's kind of like. He's kind of saying, you know, I. As an intellectual, you know, I guess I'm okay with that. Get some details to make the jawline more toned there. There we go, that's looking pretty. <laughs> One of those eyeballs are just a little bit smaller than the other. And now, I don't know if you can see that I'm outlining, but James has a scar right there. He got it from when he was like three. A cat scratched him when he was three. And now he has a cool scar. And to differentiate it from, you know, like say the cheek indentation I'm gonna add some scar details you know there we go that looks perfect just like James and now I think we're ready to start coloring James has kind of like a dirty blonde hair I don't know if his hair is actually blonde or if it's just a really light brown and I'm trying to get the right color here really you, this is your James you're drawing you can make it his hair blue for all I care but in this case, we're going to go with just a, a classic James. But do whichever you want. It's just your James, you know. I'll go with it. No, see, that's kind of orangish. Um, I'll get it eventually. I got to make it perfect like James. Okay, that looks uh, pretty adequate. I'm going to add some, you know, the glistening of the hair from over there, you know. Add that. That looks pretty good, I'd say, I think. And then add some features the to add the volume of his hair there. That's what I was trying to say there. There we go. Ooh, that rhymed. Add some features of the hair. That's what I'm trying to say there. James is also a poetic. You would appreciate that, I think. I think he could respect that. Which reminds me, that is the term that he was going to be. That's the face he's kind of making here that he's thinking. Oh, I bought botched that horrible anyway that's thought bubble so he's gonna be saying his classic catchphrase uh, he's making the I can respect that kind of face 
so that's what he's going to be thinking here and that's a trademarked uh that's a trademarked uh, slogan or catchphrase. If you say it, you have to pay a royalty to James's uh, P.O. box. I don't know what it is, but I, I know it exists. And it'll, you know, respect the money. And there you go. This is how you draw your very own James. And I will see you guys later. Next time we draw a woman. <laughs>